What's going on everyone? Sunday morning, day, whatever it is now of the quarantine. I feel like days just go by and never really know what day it is. Um, stuck at home like the rest of you and I wanted to make a video today <clears throat> trying to figure out like how I can provide the most value in this content for just this weird, bizarre and new time for all of us where we're stuck at home. And what do you do with yourself? Um, something that I've been having to figure out is food and like eating during this time, particularly with trying to stay active and stay fit and to stay healthy during this time. Nutrition's a big part of that. And I know that I have talked about in videos before how I have struggled with binge eating. And it's something that I know a lot of people who who follow my videos have, have said that it's something that they have experienced as well. So I want to make a video on overeating because it's something that I've had to figure out over the past week or so. Uh, when you have a lot of downtime, when you are stuck at home, and particularly if you're the person who has stocked their pantry full of stuff to prepare for the potential longer quarantine, how do you eat an appropriate amount of food how do you uh, not overeat all that stuff? I came up with a number of tips. I actually recorded this yesterday with five and I rethought it and I have six tips for you today. So we will begin with tip number one is to stay busy. And I mean, just in general, during this, this time of quarantine when you're stuck at home, just feel like your mental health and just to keep yourself feeling more normal, um, keep yourself busy, come up with some hobbies, do, do stuff, whatever it is to make yourself feel productive to make yourself feel like you're not just sitting around wasting time biding time until this all passes but also I tend to find and I think this is true for most people that when I'm bored I tend to eat more um, like if I don't have much going on my mind just goes to food and I find myself wandering to to eat so keep yourself busy with whatever it is whether it is like productive stuff or whether it's just like a hobby or even if if it's if that's what it really takes just keeping yourself busy with whatever distractions that might be like playing video games reading a book watching tv anything like that um if necessary to distract you just to keep yourself busy from not overeating in general try to stay productive try to stay busy but at the same time tip number two is to de-stress because I also find when I am more stressed I tend to eat as well so both not being bored and not being stressed are very important because I find those tend to lead to excessive eating so uh, try your best not to stress out during this time to add extra anxiety um, in whatever way that might be again that could be with you know, finding some hobbies or just like small distractions, like easy things for you to do, like going on a walk, reading a book, listening to good music, whatever it is that keeps your stress levels low. I know that during this time, everything seems so uncertain and um, the world is slowing down. So it feels like we're going too slow, which I mean, personally, has been like, okay, I need to be doing more. But the reality is that everything's slowing down right now. Um, you don't need to be going at the same fast pace that you always are. And as well with all like the news and media and stuff, everything seems anxious and uncertain and all that. Do your best to keep the stress levels low. Um, Cause if, if you're more stressed, like I said, I find that tends to cause me to eat more. So stay busy. Keep yourself from getting too anxious. And then tip number three is to plan out your meals and to plan out your eating throughout the day. I find it helps a ton to know beforehand for like the entirety of the day what I'm going to eat because then it eliminates the um, I'll just eat whenever I feel hungry because if I did that, I would certainly put on some pounds because uh, I get hungry a lot. So plan out your day, both like meal times, like I'm gonna eat breakfast at, at 8 a.m., have a little morning snack, have a lunch time around one, a little afternoon snack around three, dinner around five or six, and a snack before bed. So specific meal times, and then also what you are going to eat during those times, because then it eliminates the, okay, it's a meal time, so I'm just gonna go into the kitchen and find whatever looks good, because that could lead to uh, unhealthier food choices and excessive 
food choices. So have some kind of routine for what you're going to eat during the day. It eliminates a lot of the, the freedom that might lead to overeating. So have a plan, specific times and specific meals throughout the day. Tip number four, what I recommend for most of the food that you eat to be is try to stick to more high protein and high fiber food choices because foods with a lot of protein and a lot of fiber will tend to make you feel more satiated, make you feel more full, and reduce your cravings throughout the day, not make you feel like you need to eat more. For example, if I were to grab like a sugary snack, like a granola bar, if I was to have a bowl of cereal or something like that, it'll probably leave me feeling still a little bit hungry more than if I were to eat some like high fiber, high protein, something like vegetables or beans or some kind of uh, a meat protein source, something like that, will leave me feeling fuller for relatively the same amount of calories as something that's a little more sugary, uh, processed, something like that. So high protein, high fiber food choices would be, uh, good protein sources would be any kind of meat, any kind of dairy, eggs, fish, uh, dairy, protein sources, as well as things like beans and peas and nuts, which are also great sources of fiber. Really any kind of plant-based food source will have a good amount of fiber in it. Beans, peas, nuts, whole grains, and just vegetables in general, and some fruits as well. So I recommend to whatever extent you can to pick high protein and high fiber food choices. But of course, during this time, food availability might be a concern for any of you out there going to the grocery store. You may not be able to pick up anything that you would ideally get because, you know, things are being stripped bare from the grocery store as people pile up their food sources. So what I would recommend, tip number five, is to try to stay away from easy access foods. And by that, I mean things that you can just walk into the kitchen, easily grab out of the pantry, out of the fridge, and just grab and eat. Because I tell you what, there are so many times that I will be hungry, walk down into the kitchen, look for something to eat, and if the option is like a healthy meal that I have to prepare, or a just kind of unhealthier snack like grabbing a granola bar or a pop tart or something like that out of the pantry i don't have to do any work to eat that so it's an easy grab and go but it's an unhealthier option so to whatever extent you can try to eliminate those food options from your pantry from your fridge from whatever because you are much more likely to pick the easy access food options which tend to be unhealthier and tend, like we said before, to cause you to feeling less full and make you want to eat more. So then lastly, tip number six is to actually pre-prepare food in bulk, which might seem kind of, kind of counterintuitive to the last tip that I gave, but the reasoning for that is kind of the same thing, that if you have the option, a food option that you have to prepare, or a food option that is already made, you're gonna go with the food option that is like easy access for you. So if you have healthy food options that are easy access, say if you uh, made a big pot of rice, you made a big pot of vegetables, you made a big pot of some, some lean meat and you just have those in containers in your fridge, that you can just put them together, throw them in the microwave and have that really easy. Or if you just have like fruit readily available or like small vegetables readily available to have as snacks, then those food options, it doesn't provide you the excuse of this grab and go unhealthier snack is easier because you also have the easy option of healthy food options available to you. So what I recommend, what I usually do is to kind of bulk prepare beforehand, healthy food options, complex carbs, things like rice and oats and quinoa and stuff like that. Um, some lean proteins, things like whatever, whatever is available to you at this point, because I know that those are, are leaving the grocery store shelves quickly, and like vegetables, bulk preparing that stuff, having them in containers in your fridge so you can just put them together, have meals planned beforehand for how much you're going to put together, like we said before, but then those are easy access and healthier than the other easy access snacks. Hope that makes sense. Those are my six tips. Uh, this is a weird time. Like I said, uh, obviously trying to figure out how to stay active and healthy 
and fit during this time because I think that is very important. Helps with both your physical health and your mental health during this weird and trying time. If those tips made sense to you, and I hope they did, let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see me talk about or do on this channel to make a video about in the future. That would be helpful. But I think that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.